Today's Pirkei Avot class on Perek He Mishnayot Bet and Gimel, Mishnayot 2 and 3. My wife and I have dedicated this class in honor of my grandparents, Lily and Nat Dweck and Joyce and Mo Kishk. So in today's Mishnayot, we start off, Asara Dorot Me'adam Ve'ad Noah, Lehodia Kama Erech Apayim Lefanam. There were 10 generations from Adam until Noah, in order to show and teach us how much patience God has with his creations. Shekol hadorot hayu machisim uba'in ad shevi alehem et me'amabu. Because all these generations were angering God with their avodazara and their evil ways until God brought upon the Mabul finally in the time of Noah. But until then, until that time, God was being patient in understanding that maybe they will do Teshuvah, as the Torah mentions, that God saw the evil of man and said, I will give 120 years until man does Teshuvah, and if not, he will bring the Mabul. And instead at that time, God was forced in a way to bring the Mabul because mankind could not find a way to fix themselves. Continues the Mishnah. Asara Dorot Min Noah Be'ad Abraham. There were ten generations from Noah until Abraham. Lehodia Kama Erech Apayim Lefanav to show again God's patience with mankind. She called Hadorot Hayu Machtisin Ubain. All the generations were angering God with their actions. Ad Sheba Abraham Bekibel Alav Sechar Kulam. Until Abraham came, till Abraham Avinu came, and he received the reward of all of them. What does that mean that Abraham Avinu received the reward of all of them? He's talking about over here that Abraham Avinu got the zechut, the reward, the sachar of teaching the people of his time the proper way of God. And through that, he allowed others to live. Because as we know, in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Hafez B'mitatan Shel Resha'im, God does not want and is not pleased by wiping out evil people. Rather, he wants to wipe out the evil ways of people. As we know, we are reading today, we read today in the Mizmor for Rosh Chodesh, Yitamu Hata'in Min Haaretz. We want to remove the land of sins, Velo Chote'im, and not the sinners. And now we move on to Mishnah 3, as we just spoke about Avraham Avinu, who taught others about the way of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we speak here in this, this Mishnah about the Asara Nisyonot, about the ten times that, that Avraham Avinu stood through a test of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Asara Nisyonot Nasa Avraham Avinu Allah Shalom Ve'amad Bekulan Avraham Avinu stood ten trials and he passed all of them. Lehodia kama hibato shel Avraham Avinu alav shalom. In order to teach us how much Avraham Avinu loved HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that Avraham Avinu was able to pass through these ten tests. What were these ten tests? Well, says Hanambam, and there were different lists, listing of the ten tests. Avraham Avinu lists them as follows. Sorry, Harambam lists the ten tests of Abraham as follows. The first, famously, Lech Lecha Me'arsecha, to leave from your birthland and your birthplace to go to Eretz Kenan. Second, the Ra'av in Eretz Kenan, he had to go down to Misraim. The third, when Sarah was taken by Paro. The fourth was the Milhama with the four Melachim to go save Lot. The fifth was that he took Hagar as a wife after Sarah was barren for the ten years. The sixth was the Berit Milah. The seventh was when Avimelech took Sarah. The eighth was kicking out Hagar from his home. The ninth was removing Yishmael from the home. And the last, the tenth, most famously, is Akeda Ishaq. And Abraham Avinu had his emunah strong in HaKadosh Baruch Hu that even though he was being tested, 
he passed each and every one of those tests throughout his life. And it's a great message for us to be able to learn from Abraham Avinu that based on our Baruch Hu, we can also stand through the tests that God throws at us and to be able to understand and view these as tests from God and stand through them to be strong, to be able to pass them and strengthen through them our imuna, our faith in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Have a wonderful day and a Chodesh Tov.